Welcome to Procedure Flow's Art of the Flow series. This short video explains how to create tables in Procedure Flow. Using tables is an easy and useful way to present a large amount of information, and they're easy to create. Tables are often displayed as additional or supplemental information, and many mappers choose to use either a backstory shape or a plain text shape when adding them to the canvas. For this example, I'm going to drag a purple backstory shape onto the editing canvas. Since Procedure Flow uses Markdown language for formatting, the easiest way to create a table is to copy and paste the one from Procedure Flow's formatting help page. Just click the formatting help link to get there. On this page, you'll see the many ways text can be formatted in Procedure Flow. Scroll to the tables section at the bottom of the page. Select and copy the sample table. Return to the editing canvas and paste the table into the dialog box. Now, simply change the headings and values in the table as needed. You'll see the table taking shape in the preview pane. Click Add and adjust the backstory shape to the desired size. If you need to add additional rows to your table, it's as easy as copying the previous row, pasting it, and updating the values as needed. If you need to add additional columns, simply add a vertical slash to each row, then add the content to the additional column for each row. To simplify adding a column, you may want to do this step when designing your table before adding the content to all your rows. To do this, you can simply add the extra column for the first row, then copy the row and paste it as many times as you need to build the table that suits your needs. Once the table is designed, add the content as desired. That's it. Now you can create tables to provide additional context for the people who will be viewing the flows. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the other videos in the Art of the Flows series.